Hey guys, Justin here and welcome to this very different sort of video. I'm not sure how I'm going to ask this, but you know, here we go. I don't know how to start this. Uh, this is just so hard, you know. Okay, let's get down to it. I've taken an absence from the past couple of weeks because it has been extremely difficult trying to get content out when a lot of my personal items have been either you know, breaking down or non-functional and things have been in flux. Uh, a lot of things are in flux, like for example, this light here is different. I had to use the backup light because my main light has spoilt. My main shooting camera had died and for some reason, even when I did the repair, it can't run off the wall watt power that I bought uh, that is currently powering my backup camera. So this is the backup camera that's running on AC power and I can't get the AC kit to run on my main camera. So shooting in my living room has been difficult. My neighbors have been have started renovation again, so I've had to choose very different times to, to do content. I mean, and on a personal level, a lot of things have, have just piled up and, and compounded and there's just this general feeling of of, of defeat, you know, and but it's not been so bad. I, I've picked myself up uh, the past couple of days, and and uh, but I've checked my bills uh, for all the repair costs that's going to come in. Uh, I have to repair my laptop, my main laptop, which has died. Um, I, I bought a new backup laptop just in case the my main MacBook doesn't come back in time. Then I got to use a spare laptop, and I had to buy that. In short, I had to buy a lot of things and I'm going to spend a lot of money trying to get things operational again. So in the meantime, I'm not sure what to do. I, I'm currently, I used to receive a stipend because I was a student. Uh, I was considered a student status in my church. And, uh, why is the neighbor doing renovation now? Anyway, so you see all these problems that are cropped in. Can you hear the hammer? So, come um, on. So I have to foot my bills one way or another, and I'm going to do something quite brand new. And please bear with me. You know, I've not done any digital marketing or done anything. Uh, you know, with, with regards to uh, digital products on the market space or whatever. But I'm going to provide you a link to download my two Helix patches that I regularly use on a Sunday service and they're called 2 amps. I've called the patch 2 amps because I like to switch between a clean amp and a dirty amp. And I think I've put the dirty amp in the, the top signal chain and I put the clean amp in the bottom signal chain just so that I can use the volume pedal to control the output of the, the, the dirty distorted amp. And the reason why I do this is because I don't quite like the sound of, you know, three or four stacked overdrive blocks into a clean amp. To me, that sounds very gnarly. That sounds a bit out of control, and um, I like the sound of uh, the the dirty amp that is cranked up slightly higher to have a singing lead sustain kind of sound. And to my ears, it breathes better. It's a bit more organic sounding, you know. And you don't need to have three or four distortion pedals in front of a dirty amp to get it to sing. You can just use the dirty amp by itself. So that was the design philosophy behind creating these patches. The clean amp is the AC30 Fawn, which is you know everyone's favorite worship guitar amp. And as for the dirty amp, I'm using the Line 6 Litigator, which is supposed to be the Dumble kind of tone. And I've dialed them specifically for single coil and humbucker. So the SC file is for single coils, the HB file is for humbuckers. The way that I program this patch to toggle between the two amps is I have assigned a little button, I think that's foot switch 8 or 9 or something, but anyway, it's called amp. And the amp button will toggle the bypass between the one or two amps, and it's the two amps that are running into the same IR block. So you can get tonal continuity between clean and overdrive because your IR block or the cat block is still the same. If you don't have your own IRs, you could just use any of the Line 6 cabs. Preferably, I think the 12, 2x12s or the 4x12s do sound better. Uh, there are two things that, that I think are very helpful in crafting a tone with the stock caps. Number one is to engage the low pass and high pass filters. For low pass, 80 hertz is a sweet spot. High pass, 8,000 hertz. Yeah, 8,000 hertz, 8 kilohertz is the sweet spot. So 80 and 8,000 and, and, and just, just tweak those uh, two frequencies up and down by a little bit. You know, you might have a 
low pass of 70 and a high pass of uh, uh, 7,000, but it's around that range. And for early reflections, do have those cranked up to around 33, 34% or, or slightly higher. That, that, makes the amp, that makes the cap sound a bit more alive. Further down this video, you're going to see clips of me playing through a Les Paul and a Strat. And I think these two sort of correspond to what everyone plays, as, um, you know, especially with regards to humbucker or single coil sounds. It is my hope that these patches will bless you as a player. You know, you don't have to pay anything. You can you can take the link, you can download the patches free of charge, no problem. But if you are so inclined, I'd really appreciate it if you clicked my PayPal me link. And that's right down, I'm gonna put it down here too. And what you can do is to uh, pay however you want. You can give me a dollar, $10, $100 if you're so inclined. Um, but I do have to start to think of ways to fund myself for the next few months because I won't get employment until August. At least I think I'm not starting uh, my new job until you know August, you know, mid-August or something. So there is a fair bit of time that I have to think about, you know, think what can I do to get a bit of cash, you know, to, to improve my cash flow. As it is, I'm considering selling my pedals, you know, my analog pedals that I don't really use anymore since I've got the Helix stuff, but that will put me out of gear that I potentially reuse every now and then. So if it, please help me hold on to my pedals. If you're in a similar situation like me where your, your cash flow is a bit tight, just download the patches, don't worry about it. But if you're so inclined, I really do, will appreciate any kind of donations that you can send your way to me. That's it for me. If you have any questions, queries, or comments, please post them in the comment box below. If not, download those patches and have fun playing them. This is Justin signing off. Instrumental.